Hey, my name is Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Have you ever just wanted to step back in time a little bit? Marty, you made it. Yeah. Welcome to my latest experiment. This is a big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life. Well, I got that opportunity. You know, certain things you maybe don't have access to or, you know, you didn't realize how good something was until it's gone. And that's kind of what happened here. So we're doing the, you know, the 31 days of, of April, looking forward to, you know, getting someone from the Patreon, a sample of all 31 days, working on day 15 today, tonight. Big giveaway. Looking forward to the 2K giveaway tonight. It's going to be on Old Fashioned Ways. I'll be hanging out with Doc Martinez. We'll draw some names there. Then I'll publish another video over the weekend just to kind of go over the winners again. Because not maybe not everyone's going to be able to watch the live. And that, that happens too. But, you know, after that video, I'll give a week for people to get in line and in order. First winner, you know, first drawn is first choice on what bottle. All the way down the line. Or if you want the sample pack. And I'll go over the sample pack. Um, probably on the short right before the live talk about what's in there because I think that'll be a lot of fun I think that'll be cool um, got some bourbon hunting lined up on Saturday gonna hang out with Chris been a blessing to, to me personally and, and brought some great bottles into the channel through that blessing so I've been very fortunate looking forward to hunting his home turf um, this weekend so looking forward to that he mentioned 17 stores so I, I know my budget, I might as well just, I don't know, I might as well just kiss, kiss goodbye now. Because if I'm going to that many stores, something's coming home. You know, law of averages type of thing. But tonight, you talk about going back in time. This right here is a Fort Benning. That's Fort Moore now. But when it was Fort Benning, it was a, an old soul pick from uh, 2022 coming at 127.5 proof and this is the highest proof old soul pick that i've ever had so i'm looking forward to that um this is from derek noise he he was a soldier he's still a soldier but he was stationed out there um, and him and the the crew out there chris included and you know tim who does an amazing job at the class six you know we're part of this barrel selection there'll be another one of these coming up in april which I may actually get to be, you know, uh, get to be a part of it. I won't be, of course, any deciding factor or anything like this, but part of that bourbon group that maybe get together and I'll get to try some of it and before they pick the barrel. And maybe I'll even get to give some of my thoughts on that, but I'm not going to overstep my bounds on that in any way. I'm, I'm new to that group. I've got to earn my way through things on that. So you always you have to be respectful of things like that. But this was something that Derek... Um, thank you so much for this. Uh, I've been wanting to try this. I didn't have it. He had a bottle. Um, was able to get me some samples. And I I am a big Old Soul fan. The first time I had some Old Soul, I was like, man, this actually was a bottle shop pick. I said, this thing is fantastic. Man, we're up to number 15. Patreon, someone's going to get a heck of a freaking pack here because these have been nothing but bangers and I expect nothing less out of this one, out of this old soul right here. So, you know, it's been decanted for a little bit. Wow. Beautiful orange color on this, kind of a burnt orange color on this. And Derek, I just didn't do that for your long horns, but hook them horns. So I get some oak and some caramel, but I'm getting a little bit of a citrusy note on this, which is really, really nice. Check out the viscosity on it. If you notice, I got my dolphin shirt on today. Us and the Cowboys are getting like thrashed in free agency. At least we've lost two often. We lost an offensive lineman, a defensive tackle, Hunt and Wilkins, each of to over a hundred million dollar contracts. So our interior line play is going to be hurting, or at least we're going to have to have some people step up. Now I'm confident we got some people to step up, but man, I'm gonna miss those guys. I love the big nasties.
So I'm getting the caramel, I'm getting some vanilla, I'm getting some oak, I'm getting a little citrus, I'm getting a little chocolate on this too, which is nice on the nose. A little bit of leather. So there's a very nice nose on this. The legs are starting to come down. Um, they're not streaming down really fast, so you've got some good oils and there's something to look forward to that'll help spread out some of those flavors. So I'm, I always check things on how, how do I expect the flavors to get. I kind of expect my sweetness on the front of my tongue, on the front of, very front of the palate. And then as you move towards the back of the palate, you know, you're going to kind of get into some of your more savory notes. You'll get some of your, your oaks and things like that. And then in the finish, sometimes I'll get some different things on it as well. Uh, but let's see what this thing has to offer. So this thing grabbed me right off the bat. It's super sweet. I get almost like a caramel, a little bit of like a honey, and a little bit of like an orange off of it. But then I get some nice pepper and spice. I mean, I'm getting a lot of, uh, of you know, when sometimes some things can be super oaky. It's not super oaky, but I'm getting some of the dryness from the oak. But everything's been sweet so far, but with some pepper spice on, the, on this. A little bit of a nice herbal quality on the back, which I'm liking a lot. And I'll tell you, sometimes you know you taste certain things different at certain points. So I've been doing low carb, so sugars are really prevalent to me right now. But, you know, I'm getting like this sweet orangey type of note with this that I really, really like. And then, it, and then on the finish, I'm getting kind of an herbal thing going on, almost like a, a little bit of a rye. So I don't know what the mash bill is in this. I might have to go back and look at the mash bill. But I'm getting some really nice, good rye quality on the back of this. So caramel, honey. There's a little bit of that vanilla now. I'm getting some oak. That leather I got on the nose is very, very small on the back of the palate. But that herbal quality that I'm getting... Uh, a little bit of a baking spice type of thing going on. A lot of interesting stuff going on on this pour. Man, if you guys have not tried Old Soul, Old Soul yet, I would definitely give it a shot. Specifically if you find a cast strength. Now, their other stuff is good, but their cast strength seems to be where they really, really shine for me. Especially if you have someone that picks a good barrel. So if you have a store that you trust, that's where you want to be. You want to try out some of their stuff. I trust the class six stuff because they have a great group of people that have done a very nice job with the picks that they've had there. And I trust the bottle shop and there's a few other stores around here. I'm getting to trust along as well. So when you find stores that you can trust their picks, they're not just grabbing something. They're actually taking the time to break it down and taste it a little bit. You know, I, my favorite analogy of, of a store and this was you know the, the bottle shop does this what this way i believe the guys from the class six do this this way as well they don't want to know the age they don't want to know the rick house they don't want to know the proof they just want to try it and then based on that experience they want to pick out what's going to be the best one there and i think that's the way you should always do it just Golly, that's good. It's like an orange marmalade type of thing that's going on on this that I really, really like. Just because something's older doesn't make it better. And just because something's younger doesn't make it bad. So, you know, that's the best part about a good barrel pick. Is you can find something that may surprise you. It may have been the lower end of the Rick house, may not be as old, may not be as proofy. But there was something in that barrel that just brought out all the great stuff that's in that's in that mash that 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 turns out and makes it a different profile this one right here and i'll tell you it's a little bit different than some of the other old souls i have it kind of reminds me of a good four roses barrel pick there's just some kind of an herbal 
quality with this that I really, really like. That reminds me of some of the different uh, Four Roses, uh, different stuff in there. So really enjoyed this. Derek, thank you very, very much. I think it's an excellent pour. Can't wait for tonight. Cannot wait to see who's going to walk away with what bottles. Can't wait to see who's first and how they select them. It's like a draft, you know. You have to, it's like an NFL. I, I wish I, I wish at the end of each one I could be like, dun, 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 dun. I'm an NFL draft junkie. So I'm looking forward to that. You know, Friday's upon us. I, some of us will have the weekend off. A, a lot of us others, they'll be, be working. I used to work a lot of nights and weekends. I have the privilege now that I don't have to do that. But I do work Monday through Friday. So I enjoy having the time off from, with my family. But I worked a lot of nights and weekends. A lot of you are still out there working nights and weekends. Some you never get a day off. You know, if you're, if you're in our American military, you know, my son-in-law spent months upon a time, you know, being deployed and being away from my daughter and his two boys, you know, so he can do the things that, that make sure that we're safe at night. And I absolutely appreciate it. I, I thank you for our military, our first responders, man. I talk, I, I can keep going. Our, our truck drivers that are always out there, our farmers that are providing our food, you know, all, all the people that are our nurses and doctors, you know, people that are, you know, taking care of business, our police officers, to make sure that we're safe in a lot of things and everyone that's working, that's contributing back, you know, and not everyone in a family may, may work, but you're still supporting your family. You know, if you're at, if you're at home and you're taking care of the kids and you're taking, you're cooking the meals and you're taking care of the house. So one person maybe provides, and it's hard to do in, in, in this day and age. Not everyone can just say, Hey, someone's going to stay home and someone's going to work, but you're contributing to your family. You guys are what make the thing go around. And I absolutely appreciate y'all and I absolutely love you for it. But, you know, most importantly, you know, if you're working today, I hope your work day goes by fast and you're successful. I hope you're off time. I hope it goes by slow and you can savor every minute that you have. Make some great memories. So when you're having a rough time, you can reflect back and you can laugh about something and push yourself through and, and lead yourself to better things. But most importantly, all cheers, God bless, and good luck tonight. Y'all have an amazing day.